what do we see from Lenovo Q124? You got what exactly as you would expect with, I don't know, a few a few head turns. So first of all, lousy PC market. C, uh, SSG did well, right? Uh, ISG was a bit of a surprise, but was it really? So overall revenue off 23%. Uh, the personal systems group, right, IDG was off 28%. Uh, and as a as a percentage of revenue, if right uh, half of that revenue is off twenty eight percent, even if you're up in certain areas, you're going to be you're going to be off. So the company, right, not to put uh, the best performing uh, first, they always start with SSG now, which by the way I still think is awesome and risky um, because it just it's just so new that they had double digit growth, uh, uh, eighteen. Uh, percent. They did a really good job. And as you would expect, right, we've seen um, a lot of these uh, different types of metrics, very consistent metrics. Uh, first of all, the percentage year to date in managed services, 54% growth. But I think the one that still impresses me the most is that 50% of SSG revenue is not directly related to the hardware they sell, right? Because with hardware comes a lot of services, right? You plan, you install, you get rid of the equipment. Uh, sometimes you'll do help desks. Sometimes you'll do PC as a service. So that's the one that impresses me uh, the most. So you know, TrueScale is a hardware-related uh, services business. So fifty percent of that, and and that comes to managed services. And you're like, well, wait a second, isn't that like the land of GSI? What, what Lenovo has done is it has invested in, in areas that has you would expect them to have core competencies uh, in. Um, and which, by the way, like hybrid cloud and some of the industry verticals like manufacturing uh, and retail. Um, so it makes sense to me. They, they also operate uh, very heavily in Southeast Asia. So... Uh, again, good job. Uh, a lot of what we we had seen prior, just a little bit more. So ISG, right? Data center and the data center edge um, off eight uh, percent top line, and and the quote and and you and I are going to be talking to uh, Kirk uh, later in the day. I think um, sluggish infrastructure sec sector demand and slow platform transition. And it's it, it's interesting. A, a lot of ISG's business is dependent on the hyperscalers. And what we've seen is that, again, there's not always a direct correlation in the same quarter between the hardware folks and um, the hyperscalers in terms of, of their numbers, but the hyperscaler numbers are down, right? I think we saw what uh, AWS is 12% growth or something like that. Uh, and Azure, right, wasn't uh, that impressive. Uh, historically either as a percentage and you know you and I talk law, law of large numbers but I need to dig I need to dig into this I, I do have a hypothesis that says there's not enough GPUs to go around and um, what's happening is Nvidia is selling a bunch of GPUs and putting them into old servers or older servers so you don't need a you don't need a new server uh, 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 to do this. That's a hypothesis, and uh, I'm sticking to it until somebody can uh, prove me wrong. But hey, big bright spots, right? I mean, storage revenue more than doubled uh, year uh, over year. Uh, Think Edge, which right, we talk about Web four and on the edge, you know, smart uh, manufacturing, smart retail, uh, nine consecutive uh, quarters of of growth. So. Let, let's move to IDG, which is personal systems. As I said before, revenue off 28%, which obviously impacted um, the entire company because it's 50% of its revenue, uh, but also their profits. Profit margin uh, was down, and it's gone from 7.5% a year ago, 74 7.3%, 6.7%, uh, down to 6.3%. And looks like uh, there's inventory pressure and possibly also pricing, right? Uh, the stuff that people do to, to clear out uh, inventory in the PC market 
is is incredible. Like um, ISG bright spots too, record premium smartphone mix. Sometimes we forget that Motorola is the number three market share leader in the United States in uh, in smartphones, um, and they're up eight percent, eight points uh, year to year, ten year record activation. Um, so all is not down. Some bright spots. That's all I got, buddy. What do you got for Lenovo? Yeah, I mean, it was on the surface a bit of a tougher sleigh, you know, sled. After several quarters, it's been really easy, Pat, to sort of just say, you know, PC is PC and everybody's off. Yeah. And uh, but what the last several quarters for Lenovo have been is, oh, look at our huge growth in infrastructure. Look at our huge growth in, in services. This quarter was a bit more modest. Services had a small growth. Infrastructure actually saw a pullback for the first time in several quarters. And I, I tend to be uh, aligned with you. I think the purchase mix is shift substantially from uh, CPU to GPU in, this, in the data center. And I do think that, you know, next week we'll get a, we're going to get the real number, Pat, when we see what NVIDIA uh, after its massive guide last what year. What do you think, man? Up four, up five? I think it's four and a half plus. Okay. Uh, and this goes back to just what I said. Like, I don't see why they would have guided four up to just barely make that. I think they, yeah. they I think they had the orders in hand, if I'm being honest at that time. Yeah. Um, so, you know, but NVIDIA is kind of, uh, you know, it's play, it gets to play God a little bit right now in terms of deciding who gets what. And then, of course, who's willing to be the highest bidder. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to see the margins <laughs> just as to what people were willing to pay to get those, the, the supply that was available. But yeah, back to Lenovo. So, you know, the, the company, you know, is, is, is having to continue to strategically address the growth while having to play in this AI space. It services was the most uh, capable of doing that because, you know, it's able to focus on managed services. It's not as hardware dependent. It's got infrastructure that's already been stood up to support that. And then, of course, it's got soft services that don't require hardware. Um, and so that team, and we did talk to, you know, the head of that business, Ken Wong, uh, and, you know, there's there's confidence. It's going more vertical, more industry solution-based. Companies investing big time in multiple years in AI to be a player in that space. And and listen, for OEMs, it's going to be a challenge. It's as, as the AI experience moves to the application layer, the infrastructure providers, you know, you mentioned this with Chuck. And networking and you know, mention this here you know you got to have data you got to have storage you got to have compute you got to have and by the way with inference it's not going to be all gpu even though we like to make the gpu everything there's still going to be demand for traditional acceleration on uh you know cpu uh also there's going to be a pretty big swing at some point to edge and devices where ai is going to have to happen on device and that's something that i think lenovo will be well positioned to deal with so you know i'm not going to say much about the device market, Pat, let's just say, um, based on what I said in the last uh, segment about Cisco and the overall macro, it's still murky. It's opaque to yeah. me, whether we're really out of the, you know, it kind of felt for a while, everything started feeling frothy again, felt like maybe we we're going to have a soft landing. Every stock and start running up to almost near highs. We we're almost back to the highs of 2021. And we got a bit of a gut reality check this quarter. Um, you know, seeing the numbers from Cisco on infrastructure was promising for enterprise spend. Uh, seeing some of the numbers here from Lenovo to me is indicative of it could be a supply issue. It could be a yeah. demand issue. That's not entirely clear uh, on the on the PC side. I think we're a couple. I still think we're a couple quarters away from seeing. But I do think AI is going to create a new kind of product, new demand for a new profile. Um, and then uh, just, you know, doubling down on infrastructure. There were some bright spots. There were some good numbers in there. You mentioned this. Um, and they, the company did announce it's what the number three on infrastructure for AI now. That's what they're 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 claiming. So strong there, and even uh, even still the number one on PC. So uh, you know, yes. and uh, with inventory now. So we see the tide turn. This could be a good thing for Lenovo. Not the easiest quarter for any CEO or for any leadership team to tell the market, but there's still a lot of good things happening there. And I do think uh, the corner will be turned. Most likely not until really into probably first, second quarter of 24. 